Welcome to Take You Through. Please like, subscribe and tap the bell icon to never miss any future videos. Only less than 1% of my subscribers are watching my videos and all the other 99% are not subscribed. So if you love technology and if you like the content I create, please consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps it to grow. This video will be for all of you next-gen console gamers who own the Xbox Series X and or PlayStation 5 consoles. Today I will be talking about the differences between PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X internal SSDs, speeds of them, capacities, the real-life capacity and why I needed to buy this Seagate storage expansion card for my Xbox Series X. Without further ado, let's start with the unboxing. Later I will tell you the story how I got here. So, on the package we see that this is for the Xbox Series X as well as the Series S. That is the smaller next-gen console that has 5 GB of SSD inside instead of 1 TB SSD that the Series X has. The Series S doesn't have the physical Blu-ray disc tray and the Series X you can put the Blu-ray discs and game discs inside. So, seamless integration with the Xbox designed for Series X and Series S. The best part of it is that it has the same super fast SSD speed so you won't need to sacrifice the game quality, the frame rate, the fast booting times when you put this card inside your Xbox. So this card gives you the same super fast speed. So let's unbox it. out of the box nothing here and we can see the tiny little card in the box it said it shows you Seagate brand and there's a pull tab you can pull it out and that's how small the card is it's written one terabyte on it And this is the protective plastic cover. That's how the card looks. Shows Seagate on it. Got the Xbox logo. If you want to remove it from the console, you can pull just out from here. And you can see all the details. Assembled in Thailand and protected with this plastic. That's all. And that is the Seagate expansion card. So we will put it inside right now in my Xbox and I will show you how fast do I copy my games from the internal SSD to the Seagate expansion card. When you look in the box, there's actually not, not much in there. Some warranty stuff in all the languages. Don't need it. And here is the user manual. When we open it up, you can see the plastic cover. It shows where the card should go in. It's really simple. I'll show you in a couple of moments. That's actually all. It's really that simple. And if you are interested in my previous video where I unboxed the USB Type-C charging battery for the Xbox Series X controller, you can watch it here. I'll put it somewhere here and I'll put the link in the description as well. So let's move to the TV and the Xbox console. So I got this Samsung T5 drive that is 500 gigabytes of SSD fast storage attached here to the Xbox Series X console because the reality is that this one terabyte Xbox console has only about 800 gigabytes of inside storage because about those other 200 gigabytes are reserved for the operating system 
system files, etc. Uh, but as you know, the games are much, much heavier. The next generation games are really heavy on the storage, like more than 100 gigabytes for a game. So the storage fills up very fast. And therefore, if you don't want to connect your external SSDs to your console, you can get this Seagate expansion card for actually very good reason. You don't have any extra cords attached and you have much more faster storage in the Seagate expansion card than even the super fast external SSDs. The situation for the PlayStation 5 is actually even worse because the PlayStation 5 has only 825 gigabytes of storage, but you can only use 667 gigabytes of inside SSD storage. And PlayStation 5 does not have the expansion card compatibility like the Xbox has. Of course, PlayStation 5 has even much more faster SSD than the Xbox, but you can only physically change or add the storage to the PlayStation 5 by opening it, but even then the software doesn't allow you to use the added storage that you just plugged in to your PS5. Instead, there will be an update for the PlayStation 5 later, that will allow you to store your games to the extra added SSDs. But even then, you won't be able to play the games from the added storage. But you can play the games only from the built-in SSD drive. So, therefore, my choice will be always the Microsoft Xbox Series X, because you can play the games from the internal storage as well as the external storages and the Seagate expansion card. So now let's just plug in this card. So we have to remove this plastic. And there is only one way to plug in this card. Like this. You just plug in and you can see the card has been added. So here is the HDMI 2.1, the new standard. And only a couple of TVs support this HDMI 2.1. And one of them is the LG OLED CX. So let's go to the settings, go to the system and storage devices. And now we can see this is the internal storage that has already 94% used space in it and has only 45 gigabytes left from the 802 gigabytes. So 198 gigabytes is reserved, as I said, for the console operating system and all the system files. Then there is the 500 gigabyte external Samsung T5. The video with the speed test for this Samsung T5 will be in the description. You can watch it later after this one if you're interested. And this is the new storage expansion card. As you can see it already shows you that it has only 919 gigabytes of that one terabyte. So the storage is actually a luxury these days. The games are huge. The storage capacities doesn't actually give you the real 100% storage that they show you. So one terabyte internal storage is only 800 gigabytes and one terabyte of storage in the storage expansion card is 920 gigabytes. So if we choose options to the storage expansion card, you can view contents, install here by default. You can check this if you want uh, all the new games to be directly installed on the expansion card. I won't do that. I will reserve it for the internal SSD only. You can move or copy things, you can uninstall things and you can rename it or format it. So let's try it the format option. When formatting is done, you'll be able to use the games and apps on storage expansion card with any Xbox console you plug it into. It will be usable only with Xbox consoles. So let's choose format storage device. There you have it. Actually, it already was formatted, but we did it once again. And now we go to my games and apps. As you can see, I am a huge NBA fan, but you can see that even such amount of games are not gonna fit in to the internal SSD. So most of them are in my internal SSD, but the, all the others are on Samsung T5. How can you see that? You can just go to the filter here, just click filter, all storage and choose 
the internal storage only. So these are the games that are installed on my Xbox Series X device. All the others, if we choose uh, Samsung T5, these are all the other games that are stored in the Samsung T5. So what we're gonna do, I will need to empty this Samsung T5 so I can use it for my computer, not anymore for my console. So it's actually very simple. You just, let's say, you choose this game Life is Strange, you click the options, you need to choose Manage Game and Add-ons, click that, choose the game again, and you need to choose Move or Copy. When you do that, and you can see on the left side, transfer from Samsung T5, and we need to transfer to, not the internal storage, but the storage expansion card. So click on it and change to storage expansion card. Normally, there is only internal and one external device. You will never need to choose here from the transfer to section from many devices. That's actually very rare, and that's only the occasion right now for me because of the new expansion card. So, the next thing, when you choose the right destination drive, just click select all, all add-ons, all game info, and just click move selected. It's actually 18 gigabytes, almost 19. Click move selected, and you can see how fast it goes. So it copies everything to the... Actually, it, not, it does not copy, it really moves. It cuts the game, and the add-ons and pastes it on the new storage. You can choose copy or move. In my case, I selected to move, so the Samsung T5 drive is empty after that. So this game has been moved. I'll do the same for all the other games that are inside the Samsung T5, so it's empty, and I can remove it from the console. And after that, I'll be back to show you how the games are running from the expansion card and from the internal Xbox Series X console. The next game has been moved, so we go back, go to My Games and Apps. And there we can see again to the Filter, Go section, and All Storage, go to Storage, Expansion Card, and the NBA 2K20 has already just been moved from the T5 to the new card. So the card has already two games. The Samsung T5 has all these games, so I will be back later. After all the games will be moved from the T5 to the expansion card, so the T5 will be empty. And then we go to the performance and test some games. Just for you to know, I will show you how fast the game copies from one drive to another drive. So let's choose again the Samsung T5. So let's try to move a 50 gigabyte game from the Samsung T5 to the Xbox Series X expansion card. So the T5 has 500 megabytes per second copying and reading speeds, but the internal Xbox Series X SSD as well as the extension card speeds are much higher, 2.4 gigabytes per second. Actually, the PlayStation 5 has doubled the speed, about 5.5 gigabytes per second. But anyway, this is very, very fast storage. But now I'll be copying from the 500 megabytes per second Samsung external drive. So you can see how fast that is. So let's choose this game. Again, manage game add-ons and game. Just click on it move or copy. Let's choose transfer from Samsung T5 to the expansion card. Select all and click move selected. And you can see it's very fast even from the much slower external SSD. You can see it's already 5 gigabytes. It will copy the game in about two minutes. It's re really really fast. And if you will copy the game from the internal storage to the Xbox Seagate expansion card, it will copy even much more faster than this one. It really makes that much of a difference. Game loading speeds, in copying speeds, in everyday usage, and yeah, that's how fast it is. So all the games have been moved from the Samsung external drive the new Seagate expansion card. So we can check here. Let's go to the settings, let's go to the system, storage devices. Now you can see the Samsung T5 is empty, internal storage stays 94%, but all the games from the Samsung T5 have been moved to the expansion card. 
Actually, we can rename our drives, like I renamed Samsung T5. This one is called Storage Expansion Card. We can click on it, choose it, and choose the option Rename. So now we can just write what we want here. See, Gay 1 Terabyte. Now we have a new name for our expansion card. So now we can remove the Samsung T5 and don't use any cords anymore. So I'll show you. So here is the Samsung T5. It's already pretty hot by copying the games. Let's just remove it. And now you can see we have only two drives left. So we don't need it anymore. Now it has only the expansion card and nothing more. Pretty clean look. Now let's move back the TV. And to show you how fast is the internal SSD drive, we will go and move some games from the internal drive to the equally fast Seagate expansion card. So now we go to the filter, click all storage. Now we have internal storage and Seagate one terabyte. So we click on internal storage. Now we have only these games. We will copy, we'll copy NVA 2K19 that is 60 gigabytes big. So manage game add-ons, click on the game move or copy and there you can see you are no more able to choose where to transfer to because you can only transfer from one to the second option there is no third option attached so it already knows that you want to move from the internal to only the seagate one terabyte card so just click select all and let's move selected so now you can see it's even much more faster then moving from the Samsung T5 and there you see usually it was two minutes now it's about one minute it was two minutes for 50 gigabyte file 50 gigabyte game and now it's one minute for 60 gigabyte game you can feel the super fast SSDs at work that's how the next gen console should be at the first place nothing more but fast internal storage speed is the key in the gaming world as it always was in the PC computers that had the SSDs operating system loads much more faster as well as games on the console right now so the game has already been finished copying and now we can run some games and right now the full capacity for my game library will be 2 terabytes and actually 800 gigabytes in internal storage and 920 gigabytes on the Seagate expansion card. So it's about 1.7 terabytes of combined storage. Now you can easily download all your preferred games from the Microsoft Store and not worry about any slowdowns because of the external slower storages. Everything is super fast, responsive, and you can download much more games. So right now we'll run some games. Let's say Forza Motorsport 7. And the best part you can see it says quick resume and it's already inside the game. That is how fast is the new next gen consoles. So usually you needed to wait for about minute or even two minutes to load the game in the previous generation Xbox One S or One X because of the slow storage drives inside but now if you don't close the game but you shut down your console and actually you can even not play the game for about a week you just go in, inside the game and it loads immediately you don't need to go through all these loading screens as well as Red Dead Redemption game that usually loads about two minutes or even more now you just click on it you can see quick resume when you start playing from the place you ended the last time and that's how fast it goes you can see it's already responsive the graphics are beautiful and you are already inside the game it's perfect it's beautiful that's how the next gen console should be so let's go out we can go to the game Forza Horizon 4 just click on it quick resume is ready and you are inside the game that fast the graphics are beautiful and as I mentioned you need these new TVs to get the best performance frame rates super fast response times graphics of course you can play this new next-gen console with any TV that supports 4K or less resolution but as I mentioned before the HDMI 2.1 port only a couple of TVs supports it to get the maximum performance from next-gen consoles 
So this is one of them, the LG OLED CX. Not all games have the quick resume option. Let's say you want to play the newest NBA 2K21 next gen. Uh, it's a, a much more heavier game. It doesn't support the quick resume. Even if you just played it, it always loads it from scratch. And like that we are in the game. So that is how fast the SSDs are working, so we can go back to the settings, storage devices, and you can see it's already 86.9% left, so we can manage both of our storages that are very huge. I just installed many, many games. Usually uh, some of you don't even install all the NVA 2Ks like I do, all my collection on, the, on your console. But yeah, that is how great the super fast SSDs are. That is how great the Seagate 1TB expansion card is. And thank you for watching this video, sticking with me, and see the unboxing and the real performance. Actually, you can go to the Seagate 1TB disk and load a game like Mafia 2, let's say. This game loads from the Seagate expansion card right now. And just like that, we are in the game. That was pretty fast too. Of course, the game is not the next gen game or anything like that. It's an older game, but the loading times are very fast. So, thank you. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, click the bell, notifications, and let's meet in the next videos of Tech You Through.